Okay guys, so the day has officially arrived. I've been looking forward to this day where I compare the iPhone 15 versus the iPhone 15 Pro. Now, of course, the processing power inside of these devices is different. The Apple A16 Bionic is inside the iPhone 15, and the Apple A17 Pro chip is inside the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. Now, of course, in this video, we're going to be testing things like the CPU, GPU, unlocking, Face ID. We're going to be doing, of course, benchmarks, Wi-Fi E, and everything else in between. So let's just go ahead and dive right into this test. Now, the first thing I want to do is a power-up test. Both devices, of course, are off, and we're going to press the power button at the same time at a count of three. So one, two, three. Let's see which one actually boots up faster here. So it looks like the iPhone 15 actually took the lead by half a second there. So let's see which one ends up booting up faster here with this new chip inside the iPhone 15 Pro. Obviously, the iPhone 15 Pro there booted up faster, yes. But the iPhone 15 actually took the lead initially. It seems like the button actually reacted a little quicker. Let's try that one more time. Yes, the iPhone 15 Pro definitely won the boot up test, but we're gonna go ahead it one more time. So let's wait till the power off completely. We're gonna give it about 10 seconds here, and then we're gonna press at the same time at the count of three. So one, two, three, press. Here we go. Okay, so this time around the iPhone 15 Pro actually initiated the power up quicker. So let's see, of course, I think the 15 Pro, it's going to definitely win the power up test. So let's just go ahead and wait and see. Yes, the iPhone 15 Pro, as expected, did boot up faster than the iPhone 15. We'll do one more test just to be 100% certain because on the first test, the iPhone 15 sort of had the lead at start and then obviously the 15 Pro won. But on the second test that you just saw, the Pro kind of initiated the power up process first and ended up being first as well. But let's just go ahead and do this one more time. So we're gonna hold the iPhones like this and press the buttons at the same time. So one, two, three, power up. There we go. At this time, I think we got it at the exact same time because both devices gave us the chime at the exact same time. I think the iPhone 15 Pro, of course, it looks like it's booting up a lot faster. Obviously, about a second or maybe even two seconds quicker. Whoa, wait a minute. It looks like the iPhone 15 booted up faster this time. What is going on? So let's, we have to do one more. I know these are just power up tests, but we have to do one more. There's just no way. Let's go ahead and do that once again here. Let's wait for both iPhones to complete shut down so we're going to give it about I don't know 10 seconds here let's go ahead and wait 10 seconds and then we're going to press the power button on both devices at the same time okay so we're going to do that in one two three there we go same time let's see what happens here Okay, they both went off at the exact same time, so this should be the final test here. This will tell us which one will actually boot quicker, the iPhone 15 or the iPhone 15 Pro. That was exactly the same time. Of course, the iPhone 15 Pro took the cake here, so definitely three times out of four, the iPhone 15 Pro definitely boots up faster. Okay, so for the next test, we're going to do Face ID. How fast can Face ID unlock with the Apple A17 Pro versus the A16 Bionic? So we're going to raise both iPhones at the same time using Face ID, and we're going to try to unlock both devices at the same time. One advantage of the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max is that you don't have to wake up the screen. It is always on, so you can just rise your display and swipe up, which is something that you can't really do on the 15 you had to tap to wake and then swipe up um, let's go ahead and just go ahead and tap on both screens here and we're going to go ahead and uh, try the face ID unlock in one two three and it looks like the iPhone 15 Pro definitely unlocked a little quicker we're going to do that one more time so wake up the devices one two three yeah, it definitely looks like the 15 Pro is unlocking quicker here so let's do that one more time let's see what happens here so one two three swipe up yeah, the 15 Pro definitely unlocks slightly faster, not by a whole lot, but it is slightly faster with the Apple A17 processor. I don't think you're really going to notice any difference, but yeah, definitely more accurate in my opinion and faster on the 15 Pro when it comes to Face ID unlocking. Maybe this translates over to authenticating and things like that, but yeah, you ain't going to really notice much of a difference. It's about split seconds of a difference here. Now, before we continue today, I wanted to take a minute to talk about our official case sponsors, Pitaka, and their brand new iPhone 15 series of cases, the 
Mag EC Case 4 and the Mag EC Case 4 Pro. Now these cases, of course, will be linked in the description down below. These are made of an aramid fiber, which is a material commonly used in the aerospace industry. So it is strong, durable, and of course, these cases don't only look good, but also feel good when you hold them in your hand and of course protect your iPhone on the back, on the sides, the camera module. They also offer these really nice accessories, as you can see right here, the Mag Easy Grip, which allows you to carry your iPhone or prop it up to watch videos, which is super cool. And they also offer this really cool accessory, which is the Mag Easy Sleeve for your credit cards, your credit card sleeve where you can take your credit cards anywhere you go. And I love the system where I can just detach this and replace it with any accessory that I want. So for any application, I want to switch it over, I can do that. It is really, really cool. Now, if you want to check out all these cases and all these accessories from Pitaka. Of course, links will be available in the description down below. I just wanted to say thank you to Pitaka for sponsoring today's video. Now for this next test, we're going to be testing Wi-Fi speeds. Now the iPhone 15 Pro has the new Wi-Fi 6E standard built in, so it should theoretically be faster. Let me show you the networks here. They're both connected to the exact same network here in the studio, as you can see right there. So we're going to go to speedtest.net here. We're going to do one device first, and then we'll do the other device here for the Wi-Fi speed test. So let's just go ahead and wait here a few seconds while it loads up. There we go. We should get anywhere from 300 to 400 down on the iPhone 15 Pro and it doesn't look like it's reaching that just yet. Let's wait and see what happens here. So on download side, it looks like we're getting about 200 of download and the uploads uh, around 10, as you can see right there, dropping a little 10, 11, 12. Well, it's actually going up a little higher this time. So 25, it looks like 26, 30 upload here. So we're going to go ahead and wait for it to be done. And it looks like upload speeds were 38. So 214 and 38. We'll do one more test here just for the sakes, because this Wi-Fi network is capable of up to, uh, I don't think it's, uh, I think it's up to um, 300 megabytes or 400 megabytes of a download. So let's go ahead and wait here. Let's do another test here. So 200, 240, I think this Wi-Fi can do up to 300. So it looks like it's almost reaching max, but it doesn't reach max here. So 245. And when it comes to the upload, it always fluctuates there a little bit and then it starts picking up, which is interesting. It could be the network here in the studio, but in terms of upload speeds, we're reaching close to 30. So it looks like, yeah, about 30, 28, 29, 30 on the upload side and download is about 240, 245, as you can see right there. Now let's try the iPhone 15, which again, the iPhone 15 Pro has the Wi-Fi 6E. Okay, so the new standard is available on the iPhone 15 Pro. Well, it looks like the iPhone 15 15 really isn't lacking behind. It's actually performing slightly better as you can see right there. So 258 on the download side and on the upload side, it looks like it's going to be reaching 30 to 31, 32. It's actually doing a little better in the Wi-Fi speeds, although the iPhone 15 Pro has theoretically or technically the better chip for Wi-Fi. So 258 on the download and 33 on the uploads. So let's run that one more time here and let's go ahead and click the go button here. Let's wait for this to happen and let's go for the download. So the downloads quickly spike all the way up to 240 as you can see right there. So definitely better performance. It's same network guys, same exact network and it looks like the iPhone 15 is actually performing better when download speeds when it comes to Wi-Fi as you can see right there and the upload speeds are also better as you can see right here the upload speeds quickly reach 30 plus almost 40 at this point take a look at that 39 almost 40 on the upload side again this network is capable I believe of up to 300 to 400 on download and up to 50 uploads so it looks like it's pretty much uh, going up there the iPhone 15 definitely winning when it comes to the Wi-Fi test here quite surprising to me okay so here's where things really really get interesting. Let's go ahead and test the CPU and the GPU. There's a rumor new feature that may be coming to the iPhone later this year called Game Mode. And this feature could have a lot to say and could have a lot to do with the processor on the iPhone. I hope Apple doesn't limit this feature to A17 Pro devices, but that's something to keep in mind here. Let's go ahead and launch the actual application. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and quit everything that's running in the background. So everything is quit, nothing running in the background here. We'll launch both apps at the same time. Let's go ahead and do that. And it looks like when you 
you launch the applications by a split second, the iPhone 15 Pro usually just loads it quicker. Again, it's only by half a second. It's just a split second, nothing that you'll notice, but definitely something here that I wanted to mention. So here it is, Geekbench 6. Let's go ahead and do a benchmark here for the CPU. So let's run the CPU test first and see which of these devices completes this test first. Okay, so it looks like the test has been completed first here on the iPhone 15 Pro. And the single core score here is 2,946. And the multi-core score, that is important impressive 7,332 now the iPhone 15 is now getting to the end of the test so it's been about five seconds or ten seconds of a difference here the single core score 2,572 and the multi-core score 6,021 as you can see right there great gap in performance when it comes to the CPU performance test. Now we're going to go to the GPU test here and we're going to start the test at the same time on both devices and let's see the numbers for that. Alright, so the GPU test has completed 27,460. That is on the iPhone 15 Pro and on the iPhone 15, 22,700. So the big gap is in the actual performance. The GPU and CPU as you just saw there, definitely the iPhone 15 Pro when it comes to performance outperforms obviously the iPhone 15 and it's a great leap in my opinion when it comes to the Apple A16 Bionic versus the Apple A17. Now the one test that the iPhone 15 did win was the Wi-Fi test but when it comes to powering up unlocking those tasks are slightly faster and launching apps are slightly faster. CPU great improvements, GPU great improvements but when it comes to Wi-Fi the iPhone 15 definitely took this test here and that about brings it into this video. I just wanted to compare the iPhone 15's A16 versus the iPhone 15 Pro A17. Let me know what you think about these tests. Do you want to see more tests? Which devices? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!